everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at the most popular Alliance fifth wheel in the entire history of Alliance. This is the 2023 Alliance Paradigm Model 310RL. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Alliance Paradigm and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this very beautiful Alliance Paradigm. Definitely one of the absolute best brands of fifth wheels that you can buy this year for 2023. So nice that we gotta say hi to Will. And Will! Yeah. How's it going? It's going good. How are you liking your Paradigm? We love it, guys. Paradigms, or Alliance just built such a good fifth wheel, and um, that's why we chose it, and we spent our own money on it. Yes, that's the one thing that I absolutely love. Yes. Will's been in his fifth wheel for a few months now, Yep. and we're going to, when we talk about some of the likes and dislikes, it's gonna be about his experience. Yeah. He doesn't have this exact floor plan, but right. the big thing is, you guys already know, I get RVs, I don't want to say for free, but I get like demos and stuff like that. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I'm completely transparent about it and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we're not getting it free, we're, but we're not paying for it because we got to do promotions on those, yeah. right? And it's Comple for a short period of time. Complete transparency. Yeah. Will and Jen spent their own money on one of these. Exactly. That says a lot. Without further ado, Will, let's begin. Model is Alliance Paradigm 310RL. The actual tip to tip length of this fifth wheel is 34 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 12,154 pounds and the hitch weight's 2,530 pounds. Okay. This is the Alliance Paradigm. We do have a beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. And now you can get full body paint on the Paradigms and the new paint scheme looks absolutely fantastic. It does, yeah. Um, and it's really, really nice. This is the 310. This is pretty much the same floor plan as the 32 RLS Avenue yes. one that we'll have, but it's in the paradigm. It's the fuller profile. So it is going to be exciting to see some of the differences. Yep. Right up here, nice cart pin box. Underneath there, very big storage. It is prepped for a generator. You, you do got your batteries there and your hydronic, uh, your hydraulic fluids for your six point hydraulic auto leveling. Okay. Now six point hydraulic auto leveling is huge. It is. One of the big dislikes we didn't like about the Avenue was that it was four point electric and you could feel everything. You could, yeah. In Will's bigger Avenue, you don't feel anything. So this one being a smaller, or in Will's bigger paradigm, you don't feel anything. So this one being a smaller paradigm, it's going to be even more stable, which For is sure. fantastic. Um, speakers on the outside, non-frameless windows. You have a very nice power awning with LED lights there. Power awning with LED lights there. Okay. On the slide out. Over here, we got some propane. Yep. And propane accessories. There you go. You know who says that? Uh, Josh? <sighs> Hank Hill, Will. Oh, I Do you know, know who that. Hank Hill no. is? Well, you need culture in your life. <laughs> I do, I know. He's from King of the Hill. Oh. The cartoon? Yep, I know. Okay. Right here, <laughs> we have very nice pass-through storage. That access door is off right there, so we'll be able to take a look at it. Cool. Motion light, power, um, power, coax. coax. And this is something that's huge. Well, this was a this is a big upgrade from the avenue with it how is, much storage for it is. sure right underneath there well is a propane quick connect as well okay right over here we do have the lippard solid steps with the hydraulic assist so it makes it very easy to get in and out of the fifth wheel nice big grab handle right there you can see asdell uh asdell is a composite material and it will never delaminate on you and i don't see the sticker warranty uh, for full -timers. it might be on the door nope it's missing. Well, well, it's missing. Here's what I do know. It's still warranted for full timers, or it should be. Yes. And if it's not, well, you got to get rid of it because you're a full timer. <laughs> right. We'll figure it out. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Westlakes. I love those. ST235-85R16. 
with the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. There you go. I didn't, I thought you had Goodyear's. No, we have Cooper's. Cooper tires on ours. So Cooper tires are an option. Westlakes are standard. Cooper's are an option if you get the 8K axles. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so tell us a little bit about these. Well, so what axles are these? So these are the 7K axles. Okay. Which probably isn't a bad setup for this size fifth wheel. Um, we did the 8K axles because we have a bigger fifth wheel than this one. So obviously that means heavier. And then we did some upgrades like the generator, the solar, um, and the washer and dryer just to start with. So we knew that our weight was gonna be a bit heavier. And full timing. And full timing, yeah. Plus, yeah, we're gonna be heavier with all of our stuff. So we wanted to upgrade those axles. And um, so with that, you, you do get a higher rated tire as well. Perfect, and tell us a little bit about, like they're missing that sticker as well. I know. So, so tell us a little bit about what that means. What, what sticker's normally there? Yeah, so, Bing. so usually they have a sticker here that explains their running gear and and we'll put it on the screen if yeah, yeah it's Jen, on the screen. Jen, make sure it's right there. Yeah. Um, and basically that is the running gear and that's one of my favorite things with Alliance, right? So they are using a heavier rated tire. Even the standard is heavier than some of the competition. Um, 7K axles, disc brakes are an option. They are using um, wet bolts and shackles, which are a big, problem or can be a big problem if they're not the heavy duty wet bolts and um then they're using a hopefully i can remember this correctly 12 inch i-beam with a two inch torsion tube which really just helps disperse that weight that's coming from the axle over the i-beam better and uh, causes less stress on your frame and that's on the paradigm that's on the paradigm because it's the 10 inch on the avenue it's a 10 inch on the avenue got that's it. it got it and if will if you weren't correct jen will put yeah. lettering over what you're saying, but that sounds right. It is more complicated when the sticker's not on the it side. It is, right. Right there, uh, we got the um, power, power outlet. I guess their sticker guy isn't doing their job over there right now or something. Right over there, we do have a uh, uh, sewer hose holder. Yep. Right over here, Will, we do have a nice ladder to get up on the roof. Okay. 3,000 pound hitch with a four pin connector, so technically, you can tow 3,000 pounds behind this. Okay. We never recommend doing that. And it is prepped for a backup camera. There you also, go. Also on the roof, Will, it does have a one piece PVC PVC roof. Oh, right here. I do like the white diamond plate. Yeah, that looks nice. It looks nice. really good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just all about having like a streamlined look. Right. You know? Right here is your uh, place to dump your tanks. Not too bad. 12 gallon DSI water heater. Yes. Now you still had this on yours, right? You had this for a little bit? Yes. Okay, uh, Will probably has upgraded to the Furion Instant Hot Tanks water heater by now, but um, that still worked really well. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you wanna take like a really nice long shower or you have like a bunch of people, you'll want an instant, but that 12 gallon's pretty good, honestly. Good. Right over here, Will, uh, outdoor shower, black gray tank, dump stations, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Very nice. And then look at what we got going on over here. Yep, so this is your access panel um, for all of your electronics. And as you can see, all the electronics are color coded so you can trace the wires and all your plumbing, some of your HVAC and all that good stuff. And well, something that I really like is this kind of looks sloppy, but it really is organized because right. some, things can go wrong. Alliance makes it easy, especially like right here with the pole valves. The, the, these can break very easy, but these are a lot more durable than the electric ones that you'll see on some other brands. So I really like how they just make it simple. Yep. You just and if they do out. break, it's not that. It's really It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to replace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You can do it yourself. It's easy to do with that access panel. Yes, sir. And then over here, here's your propane tank. Very nice. And then right here is your auto leveling controls, which is a lot better than it being right there. Yes. Well, well, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Take a look at the inside. All right, we'll start up front. Beautiful. Yes. Nice big front bedroom up here. You got the bathroom in the middle. And then coming to, back down, you got the kitchen, living area, dining area, all back here. Well, this is absolutely beautiful, but before we show everybody inside, gotta give a big shout out to Lippert.
Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Well, so we are inside the Paradigm 310, and here's what I will say. It was a hard choice figuring out what floor plan you really wanted to get. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like this is tough. Here's what I will say was easy. It was easy deciding on Alliance. Which, oh, for sure. You know, it's... Because here's the deal, right? Truthfully, this looks nice. They all look the same. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's little differences here and there. What we do know is Alliance has amazing customer service before, during, and after every sale. And, you know, the Brady brothers, we can literally call them right now and they pick up the phone. Truthfully, not everybody has that luxury, right? Bill Martin, Jeremiah, Ab, everybody in the Alliance team, the Alliance Facebook group is second to not. So if you guys are thinking about buying any fifth wheel, make sure you join the Alliance RV Facebook group. And don't take my word for it. Don't take Will's word for it. Ask an ally why they bought an Alliance and why they still have an Alliance. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Back here, Will, we do have beautiful cabinetry. All the way up, over, and around. Very nice. Over here, we have more cabinetry. Yep. Okay. And then check out these windows and balances. Um, well, do your balances look like this? They're just wood? Um, no, I think mine are a little bit different. Okay. But they are wood. Nice. I'm trying to remember now. Uh, right here we do have the MCD slow rise shades. And so this must be a little, this must have been sitting on the lot for a little bit because they are doing daytime and night shades oh. standard now. That was like a mid-year change. Okay, okay. So yeah, I mean, these things are always changing. Yeah. Then over here, Will, we do have a very nice oh, storage sorry. over here. And then you got the same over here on this side. And you do have power and USB on both sides, which I love. Three cushion trifold sofa. This is where the non-paying customer sleep, sleeps. <clears throat> and let me show everybody how the bed's made. You know why, Will? Why? America. That's right. Red, white, and blue, baby. That's why. That's it. Now, why don't you tell everybody about the wide body while I'm doing this? And I'm, yeah. not, and I'm not talking about my wide body. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so Alliance does a 101 inch wide body standard on uh, Paradigms and Avenues, um, and I'm sure Valor's too. But um, you know, that just makes it really nice. That's why you can get the tri-cushion trifold with the side tables, and it just really opens it up and helps it feel more roomy in here. So. I agree. Great. And then we're coming back in here and just showing everybody, show everybody the entertainment center. Okay. You got good storage up top here. All the cabinets are nice and soft clothes, which I love. Nice big insignia TV right here. Jensen sound system with power. And then you do have the pull out hidden storage. I know that's your favorite. This is my favorite. Right here. here. Yes. And then the fireplace does produce heat from electricity. Yes. Um, flush floor slides on both sides. Yes. And then across from the entertainment center is this sofa theater seat. Now this is my favorite because I do like my theater seats. Right. These are electric recline. I do like my theater seats. Yes. I like having a cup holder. Um, I'll put my laptop here and it works well. It's getting airflow and everything. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching TV, but at the same time, Will, yep. I love my Yuna. So to have this up so she can lay right here. Right. We're chilling, you know, yep. we're having a good time. No, I agree. That is one of my favorite sofa setups, honestly. Yeah, for sure. So. I like that better than just theater seats. I do too. I like that better than just sofa. Give yep. me an option, you I know. I agree. 
Right over here, Will, is the dinette. Okay, looks a little tight. How is it? Oh, maybe not too bad. Um, uh, you know, not too bad, but well, Average, definitely call is, it. yeah, it's, it's, it's not spacious. It's not tight, but it's not spacious. Right, okay. You got nice big atrium windows all the way around. Mm -hmm. Very nice. LED lights and everything. And then we have a beautiful kitchen. But Will, yeah. before we do the beautiful kitchen, it's time to show everybody the floor. Okay. Notice how there's no floor vents in yes. the floor, which we really like. And now it's time to show everybody the AC. <laughs> I'm trying to throw Will off, everybody. <laughs> um, notice how there's no ductwork in the AC. Well, right. why do they do that? They do that because um, after doing some research, they found that that dispersed the air better. Yep, just putting it straight out there. Putting it straight area. out there. In the bathroom and bedroom, it is ducted. Because yeah, because different rooms. Yeah, because of different rooms. But oh. in here, they found it to be more efficient. So. Not only that, well, it's three AC units, Correct. not two. Standard. Now, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> burr, burr, burr. You still thought I was tricking you. <laughs> MSRP on this unit here, Sir William. Stock number 266108 is $117,643. That's actually not bad. MSRP. Sale price, Will. Mm -hmm. We don't know sale price because it is Alliance. And Alliance and some other manufacturers don't allow us to advertise a sale price. But we do have sale pricing on these and we do sell them nationwide. So if you're interested in these, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I've linked that form down in the YouTube description below. You can get there via matsrvrvs.com. You can call our team at 844-969-4033. You can text me 301-906-0962. I don't always answer, but the person to text if you're interested in an alliance is Will. That's right. Straight from the owner's mouth. What's your cell number? 202-531-8240. And seriously, guys, we want to be the number one alliance dealer. Yep. I can probably answer any alliance question that you have now owning two. So please don't hesitate to reach out. And again, I just want to emphasize that owning two, not having two. Correct. Big deal. Yes. Did you n point out the storage behind the TV? I did not. Okay. Go that and then show us this kitchen. Okay. Let me unclip this really quick. A little bit of storage behind and it's, it's perfect though to put your PlayStation or whatever behind it. Yep this back up very nice all right well show us this awesome kitchen okay this really is a great kitchen um again for for being under 35 feet to have this much kitchen space is awesome yes nice big insignia microwave right here very nice good window on your non-camping side this is one of my favorite things i love how they evenly space the stove and give you good countertop space on both sides you have power there solid surface countertops four burner insignia cooktop Got drawers and storage underneath. Nice big oven. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then another drawer and storage here. Very nice. Over here on this island, this is a huge island. Again, for being under 35 feet. Nice extension faucet here. Single bowl sink right there. Yes, sir. And then again, still tons and tons of uh, kitchen countertop space to cook on. Still, everything in here is all solid surface. Got some drawers here. These drawers can be removed and you can put a dishwasher in. And I think you only lose two of the drawers, probably the bottom two. Okay, did they take away the soft closed drawers? They took away the soft closed drawers, so it's just soft closed doors. Doors, but not drawers. Doors, not drawers. Do doors, not drawers. Yep. Right there, we do have storage there. Yep. I did like the soft closed drawers. I did too, personally. And then Dang it, Ryan. <laughs> And then over here, you do have a nice big pantry. Huge pantry. Yes. And I like how it's not so deep, it's wide. Truthfully, that's something that I wasn't crazy about with ours, is it's pretty deep. And you have a very wide. deep, yeah. Flat pantry, yeah. And then a little more storage here. Yes, sir. This whole area is something else that we miss in, in our um, rear kitchen. You know, up here, we like to charge our GoPros and our cameras. Yep. Throw your wallet and keys up here. And honestly, these two drawers in the avenue were like junk drawers, which was nice just to have your junk drawers. You got your fuses and breakers there. And a refrigerator. Oh, how did I skip over the fridge? Nice big Norcold refrigerator. So this is a compressor fridge, works off at 12 volt. And this is the same exact fridge that I have. I love it because it works great off the solar or just the, the you know, when you're driving down the road, if you don't have the big solar package, 
the um, the truck can keep it going. So perfect. Yep. With that said, well, time to get in the shower. Okay. For those of you who don't know, Will is a staggering six foot three. One of the first things that drew me to Alliance before I even knew who the owners were or the, any of the employees or what the product was, was their huge showers. Yes. Now this one, funny thing, is a small one for a Paradigm. Right. So like the first Paradigm I saw was a 370 FB. Yeah. And that's, and that's when I was first saw that huge yeah. shower. But even with this being their smaller one, there is tons of head height. There's no step up. It is Encore, right? Yep. Or, okay. Um, Again, their sticker man forgot the sticker. I guess so. Really good wet width and depth, and you even have the teak seat that definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. All right. And then, Will, over yeah. here, um, yours doesn't look like this anymore, right? With the epoxy? Yeah. Yeah, it has the epoxy. It's the black one? Yes. Isn't you sure? It? I think. I don't think so. Jen, put what yours looks like here. Bing! I don't think yours is black epoxy, is it? I thought it was. No way, bro. Sometimes, you know, you just... But again, listen, this is for this stock number. Yeah. If Jen did show a different countertop, that's what the new one looks like. Right. And that's what I want people to understand. Guys, just because you see it on my video, this is stock number 266108. If you're ordering one, it is going to come in different. The manufacturers tinker things all the time. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you guys got to know before you uh, order what... What changes are coming... And again, it's not major changes. It's all little oh, changes. Oh, no, yeah. Nice mirror medicine cabinet. And oh, liquefied, our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, this is the absolute best created by the Matt's RV Reviews team. Um, thank you, everybody, who's been buying this. And if you guys went to any, if you went to the Alliance Florida Rally or the Alliance National Rally, odds are you got that. Yeah. Horse and toilet. Well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Finishing up well in the master bedroom. See, look, these have different balances in the bedroom. They do. Nice TV right here. Nice top right there, some hidden storage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice drawers. Very nice drawers. Yeah. I wish they were soft closed. I know. Nice drawers there. Right over here, we have a nice seat with some storage right storage there. underneath. Yep. Yep. And what is nice about this seat for all my chubby people out there? It's where you can put your shoe on. That's right. Right over here, Will, is the closet area. Okay. Uh oh. Came off the track a little. Just a little. Right over here is the closet area. And then you can get a washer dryer on both sides. Yep. Right over here is a very nice king size bed. Windows all the way around, USB and power on both sides. Very, very nice. And again, the third AC unit right here that is ducted to the bathroom. And you have a barn dominium style door. There you go. Well, Will, oops, one more thing. Yep. Storage underneath the bed. Okay. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody goes, it's time to give people three things we love about this paradigm and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay, I'm gonna go first, okay. and here's what I would like to say. This has been a little bit of a Lions hype up video. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, and we do love Alliance, but with every RV out there, as much as we love this, this truthfully might not be the right RV for of you. Course. As much as we love Alliance, I don't care if I never sell another Alliance again, I care about showing everybody every brand and trying to figure out the best one for you. You know yeah, what I'm saying when I, I say agree. that? With that said, we do love this brand. With that said, here's dislike number one. Well, dislike number one. As a non-paying as a non-paying customer who sleeps in Will and Jen's RV, I don't like this sofa. Yeah. This isn't like your paradigm. Look at this. Look at how much thicker oh, this is right. other than that. That's interesting. They must have changed something. I'm not liking that whatsoever. That's important to me because I sleep on the pullout. Right, but it is the same sofa. So it's like, maybe that was included in the mid-year changes too. Probably. Yeah. That's just like number one, Will. What's just like number two? Dislike number two. It's hard. There's like a lot of little things. Talk to me. Know? Like It's like okay said, to give more than three. Yeah. If like, anything, we should because we hold them up to right. such a high standard. Well, it's like this dinette area is a little tight, but it's also not bad. 
You know what I mean? The closet's a little small, but it's definitely doable. Um, so there's a lot of little things that are good, but yeah, not great. Right, right. I would say that. Okay. So um, there's that, the closet. What else? Like the bathroom. Bathroom. Right. The right. shower's great. But, you know, the bathroom itself. But even still, tight. it's the small shower in it the paradigm. The small shower for the paradigm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we, we, we can say that. The bathroom, the yeah. dinette, the front storage, it's all good, but it's not great. Yeah. It's doable, but still just kind of small. Yeah. That's number two. And then, well, number three for me, I got a great one. Okay. Do you have a third dislike or no? No, I don't. So, go ahead. Okay, one, I hate the pull-out fireplace. <laughs> right? You right. people from Alliance can call me and tell me about all the benefits. Not hearing it. Don't right. care. Don't like that. Oh, I'd like to add one more thing. Okay. To the dinette, in the avenue, I loved the bench seat. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Will had a bench seat. Jen, please show it right here. Bing. That's what comes in the avenue. I wish they put that in the paradigm. Yep. Instead of the two chairs. I agree. But coming back over here, Will, I don't like the pull-out fireplace. Um, I don't care about the little bit of storage behind there. Truthfully, if you had that dinette, you could have put the blankets in the dinette. Right. And then another thing, Will, Televator? This is, no. Well, one, I do like a televator, but this is useless. Oh, give like me put shelving. The shelving thing. You know yep. what I'm saying when That's I say that? That's a good that? one, yeah. It's useless. And like right here, stand over there. Okay. This stuff's useless. Like, what are you going to put there? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They literally could have doubled it as shelving. And I love that. Okay. I love that I don't like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's three things, or four things, or five things we don't love about it. Now it's time for the things we do love about it. Okay. Will, may I go first? Sure. I love this sofa. I haven't publicly said this yet in a video. Right. But being in your paradigm, Will has three different types of sofas. Right. These. He has theater seats without this middle part. He has a regular two cushion sofa. And then he has theater seats like this. This is absolutely my favorite one. Right. I hate the standalone theater seats now. Again. This is where it's at. This does everything standard theater seats does. But it also doubles as a sofa if my dog wants to lay here. Yeah. I got to look at this as how do I go camping? Mm -hmm. and that's what I look for. That's love number one. There you go. Well, what's love number two? Love number two, I'm going to say is how big this kitchen is. Again, you know, we were kind of with the dislikes. We were talking about those things that are, you know, okay, but not great. I mean, it's still under 35 feet. And to get this big of an island in here, that huge fridge, and the uh, residential size oven is awesome. Love opinion. that. Yeah. So. That's definitely number two. And then, Will, number three for, you know what? Number three, why, what are some other, okay, you ready for this? Yeah. So for dislike, we did a whole bunch of little things. Yeah. So what's a whole bunch of little things that you liked about Alliance, which made you go to Alliance? Yeah, no, that's a good one, actually. Um, we'll start with the running gear. Yep. I love the running gear. That's kind of your foundation. Um, I will say the um, three air conditioning units. Yep. That was a huge one. The big shower. Yep. The flush floor slides. No duck works for the no pets. No duck works for the pets. Um, again, some of those more residential features, the fridge, the, the oven, all that. The big um, atrium windows. The big atrium windows, the big slides, all that good stuff. I love it, Will. I love all of it. Um, and again, it just works. Yeah. Not for everybody, was for Will, and that's why I love RVs. Because again, right. I don't, truthfully, I don't care if we never saw another Alliance again. If you like that Avalanche better, great, buy the Avalanche. Yeah, for sure. But we just like to point out the features that we love, different from that one, different yeah. from this one. And for somebody like Will, it was this one. That's right. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you haven't seen our video on the Alliance factory tour with the owner, Ryan Brady of Alliance, we will link that video right there and at the end of this video. We'll also link it down in the YouTube description below. Also in the YouTube description below is generalrv.com slash mattscash. Fill out that form if you're in the market for an Alliance RV. Nobody's going to beat our prices. Nobody. So please reach out to our team. And we do have a special team at General, the Matt's RV RVs team, that will help everybody get phenomenal deals. Or call 844-969-4033. Or if you're not ready to talk to a salesperson about Alliance, no big deal. We're here before the sales transaction as well. Will, what's your phone number? 202-531-8240. Guys, we, again, we want to help you um, with Alliance, of course, with any brand. But again, I know Alliance is really well. And if there's a question I don't know, I can easily get you the answer.
Make sure to leave down in the comments below, let us and let Alliance know three things you like and three things you dislike because they are reading the comments and watching. And make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Being an Avenue and Paradigm owner, yes. Will knows a thing or two. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for Thank watching you. and Will, we'll see you next time.